Hi, it's Sandra, and tonight I wanted to show you a manicure that um, actually was uh, I was inspired by a Facebook uh, post that had this French manicure with green, and then they had put butterflies on some of the nails. And I think it was either those stick-on um, decals, like for the full nail, or it was... Um, what else did I think it could be? I don't remember. But anyway, it looked like a decal. So it was not reversed, um, or it wasn't stamping, nail stamping. So I thought I would kind of recreate something similar because we are into spring now. Well, we're supposed to be into spring. And I really wanted to use the French manicure plate again by Maniology. If you don't have this plate, I think it's really a cool, versatile plate. And if you, I really like French manicures. I don't do them a lot. But um, when I do want to have a, that French manicure look, this is the plate that I always go to. So the two colors that I thought I would use for the French tips is Zombie Hut, which is B485. And the other one that I want to use is Plantation T B283. And they're both Maniology. And by the way, if you do buy something from Maniology, if you want 10%, please use my 10% off discount discount code, which in, which is NS10, gives you 10% off, and it gives me a small commission, so that way I can continue to do my giveaways. Okay, so what I'm gonna use are those. I'm gonna use this plate, and I'm going to use these stick-on butterflies from, um, I believe it was March's uh, Manny by Me box. And I'm using these because I'm going to go through and stamp all my nails, so I figured, what the heck, I'm going to use stickers for the rest of it, okay? So the first thing I want to do is actually give my nails a um, base coat, and I want to do clear. So I'm going to use Maniology's uh, sticky base coat. I'm going to put that on all my nails. And when you use this stamp or this plate, what you'll find out is like when you do the um, the um, big rectangular stamp is that these dry really fast. So I was actually practicing on my nails before I started on camera and I noticed that they really dry quickly and it really helps if you have some kind of base coat that will kind of be tacky. So I'm going to do this on my nails. And the reason I'm using two different colors is because I couldn't decide which one I like the best. So I thought, I'm going to use both of them. And what I'm going to do is a mixture. See how that works out. And I originally wasn't going to do all of them with a French manicure, but I think I will. Okay. So that's that. Now, I've practiced with this, and I really like this one right here. I like it because it's not too thick. I actually tried this one, and I thought, eh, it's kind of a thick French um, look. So I want to do this thinner one right here. So what I'm going to do is I always like to do two coats of, of this when I do these French manicures. Let me shake this up a little bit. So the first one coat that I'm actually going to do is the lighter one. Because there's no use mixing the colors right now. Because the first coat, it's not going to show up very well anyway. Okay, so I'm going to put some nail polish on there and just let it sit for a couple seconds. And then what you want to do is you want to scrape very lightly. you got to scrape it a little bit because if you don't, it definitely will not, um, you'll have a big blob and you won't see the image. So you want to leave it down there for a couple seconds and then scrape light. And then you always want to pick this up light too. OK. 
Okay, so let me get the get some tape. All right, and then I'm going to put this on my nail. And I always like to go like right to the end of the nail or just below it because I want every space covered. Now, if you don't cover it, you know, it's no big deal because first of all, I'm going to do a second coat. And second of all, um, you can always use whatever little pieces you've left behind to fill in. Okay, so that was the first one. All right, now the second one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the center. That's probably too much. Probably won't show up. Let that set for a couple seconds. And then I'm just going to go over it a second time. And this sticking problem is due to the fact that my nail is dry. Okay, so there we go going to kind of get the side here, get the side over here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my little butterfly stickers, and so I think these are too big. This one's good. I've got this one over here too, and I've got a couple small ones there. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a small one on this one. Because I don't think I'm going to put the butterflies on all five. I'm going to do a French nail on all five, or all ten. But I'm not going to do a butterfly in all ten. Okay, so here's my little butterfly. And I'm going to put it right at the tip. Right, hopefully I'll get it straight on here. Right there. Now I just noticed that I have a little bit missing here. So let me see. Do a little bit of the green. And let's see. Let's do the light green. Oh, I had some on there. I didn't even see it. Okay, take that. Very light. You want a light, 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 light um, press with your stamper. Okay, so I had it right at the tip here. I'm just going to take this around and just kind of go over it. Just like that. So I got my butterfly on there. And now all I'm gonna do is use my thick top coat to cover it. That's it. I mean, I think it's a nice, simple, elegant manicure. So I'm gonna do another one. So my plan is to do a couple on camera. Maybe I'll do this whole hand on camera. 
and then I'll do the rest off. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another butterfly in my ring finger. So the first thing I'm gonna do is do the light green. Let that dry a little bit. Okay, give it a light scrape, very light scrape. Got a press very light on there. Okay. Okay, that came on pretty good. Push that down on the sides. And I'm gonna do the same thing, only this time I'm gonna use the two colors. This time though, I'm gonna put a little bit less in the center. light touch now I'm one of these people that when I use the stamper I have a tendency to bash down on it so I always have to remind myself especially with this these very open stamps or um plates that you have to do a light touch. Okay, there's the second one. All right, and then I'm going to use another butterfly. Actually, what I'll do is because I don't have enough of those, I'm going to do, I don't have enough tiny ones, so I think I'm going to use one of these. And let's see, that one looks like a pink one. So I guess I'll use a green one. Let's use a green one on this one. Or maybe I should do a dragonfly. Nah, I'm gonna do a butterfly, okay. Okay, and I have to you should try not to touch this, but I like to put them on this way. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one on there. I just noticed right here that I once again didn't get the tip. So I'm actually going to use this one that I had, a little piece that was left on there, see if it'll stick. Sometimes it won't stick. All right, did a good job. Okay, so now I'm going to use my thick top coat, which as usual is my Glisten and Glow. All right, so there's two of them. Now, on the rest of them, all I'm gonna do is the French tip. Now, what I could do is actually do some of them solid. I don't know if I wanna do that or not. I know I thought about it, and then I said no. Then I said yes. No, I'm gonna do them all French tip. So, let me go through and do the last three. I'll do them on camera. 
All right, so we're going to start with this. Oh, no, we're going to start with the light one. And you don't want to be stingy with the, the stamping polish here. Let it sit for a couple seconds. Right. Very light scrape. Very light pickup. that aside and do my pinky you can see where I missed right here so hopefully I'll get that with the next one and, you know, don't be afraid about this. Just, you know, you got to practice. It isn't going to come out right the very first time. It, and it may for you. I never had that luck. I had to practice with this. And the biggest thing to practice is just the light touch. Because if you are a mad scraper like I am, not mad like mad, I'm angry. Mad is just like, ooh, got to get this off of here. And, you know, you are not a light touch person with the um, stamp stamper then it's gonna you know you're gonna take a lot of it off so you want to just make sure that when you do this that you do light touches on everything oh and see that one did not turn out so I'm gonna take that off and just do it again Let that sit for a couple seconds. Perfect. Now once you get that first coat on there, it makes it a little easier because you've already got the nail almost filled. Okay, so I totally missed the side again. So I'm gonna do it one more time, just like I did on the other one to fill it in. Now, I have had, it's been a while since I've done a French manicure, but I have had problems with this staying on for any length of time. I don't know why, if it's just because it's such a thin coat, but they seem to chip really quick. So um, don't be surprised if they don't last long. And maybe they will. I don't know. Maybe yours will. I'm going to see Maybe I'll um, do a follow-up when I go to take these off, just saying how long they last. So today is Monday, the 1st of April, and we will see how long. I'm just going to try and do the side here. Yep, got it. Yep, got it. Okay. So I will see how long this lasts. Okay, so there's that one. And with this one, I'm not going to put any butterfly on it. 
I'm just going to put a tack coat on it. There. Okay. Next. And I think the size of your um, French nail tip is really all personal taste. Um, I used to really like them being really thick and really sh closing up most of the nail. But I don't know. Lately I've liked them. I like them just a little thinner. Not so much of your nail. Just the real tip of it. So, I mean, that's all personal taste. That's why Maniology gives you all these different choices. And I think it's great. You know what I didn't do? I did not take off the last one off my stamper. All right. I know those people on Maniology when they use this um, plate, they make everything look so easy. And, you know, they've, they've uh, practiced, I'm sure, for a long time. So just don't be disappointed if you don't get it to start with. Okay, there's that one. And do another one. Let that sit for a couple seconds. I do think this is a great plate. I mean, there are people that I'm sure can paint French nails on. And I, I used to get my nails done at a salon, and it always amazed me that they could paint it on there, and then they used a little brush with acetone on it, and they made it a French nail. And I always thought, man, I'd never be able to do that. So, and I've seen, you know, other ways of doing it. People use band-aids and all kinds of gimmicks to the um, little circular uh, binder things. They, I've seen them, people use that and online. And, and I'll tell you, nothing, none of that really worked well. So I was so happy when Maniology came out with this plate. And, you know, a lot of the manufacturers are making them now, but... I grabbed this one right away because it's like, oh my gosh, a French manicure. Because that's all I used to get was a French manicure. And I always did the traditional, you know, clear, not clear, but usually it was like a pink. Okay, I think I got, nope, I think I missed the corner on that one. So I'm going to do a little bit of corner again. Keep missing the corners. Part of this is because my nails are square. So if you have actually round nails, you're going to have an easier go of this because you won't have to um, worry about getting those sharp corners in. So, But I don't think it takes very long. And I do think the outcome is really nice. And really, I don't even have to have the shape on there because I'm just doing the corner. Where did I miss? Right here. So I'm just going to take this. You know, this is like sewing or crocheting or any of that. You know, it's one thing to know how to do something, but the real expert is the one that knows how to fix it. So, you know, don't be disappointed if you don't get it first couple times or, you know, you end up having to fix it. I mean... The true artists know how to fix their mistakes. That's true with sewing. I mean, if, you, if, you, if you've ever sewn before, you know that it is just as important to know how to rip something out and fix it than it is to actually sew. Because if you can't fix it, you don't know how to rip it out, then you're not going to be as successful in sewing. Because everybody makes mistakes. 
So I think stamping is the same way. You know, whether you fix it or you do it over, you know, whatever. You know, you got to know how to fix it too. Now I'm lazy, so I don't like to redo it all over. So I've always come up with these shortcuts to try and fix things. Okay, so I've got my last one and that's my thumb. I'm going to use this first. Now, it's going to be a little bit more difficult on my right hand, obviously, because I am left, because I'm right handed. So, you aren't going to be able to see that because I'm not going to show you that. But this is my left hand, which always comes out better. Oh, see, I forgot to take it off my stamper again. Turned out good. What I like to do is kind of move it off the nail and then bring it down a couple times so that way I know that I'm at the tip. And I, these are all things I learned by doing. Okay, so there's that one. Now we're going to do... two double or double colored one here that dry a little bit Okay, so there's all of them. And I think on my thumb, I know this is ridiculous, but I just have to do something else. So we've got some little teeny flowers here, and I don't think it's on, nope, there's none on the other one. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use these on my thumb. Oh, we've got one, two, three, four. I think I'll use the this little pinky orangey one. Let's see if it comes off. All right, put that in there. Isn't that adorable? Okay, then I'm going to apply my top coat. All right, so there you go. There is my French manicure with some butterflies on there. And of course, I'm going to do my other hand. And I think this turned out really cute. And please don't be afraid to give this a try. It's like everything else. You just got to practice if you don't get it right away. Just remember, like I said, that you make sure that you, you know, put enough polish, um, stamping polish on there. You want to leave it on there for a couple seconds and then scrape light. So remember the scraping light. That will help you from taking all the polish off the little negative um, French manicure. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.